Right then. That doesn't sound right. Oh, that's cold. Right then, so we are off. <laughs> you gotta go that way, Roy. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. See you in a bit, Steve. Right then. Well, that was a very nice uh, bacon and egg sandwich. And talking a load of nonsense, this road is going to be closed for quite a long time apparently, so uh, we're going to have to plan our routes. Some more lads ignoring the uh, close road. Oh dear, that bus stop is in imminent danger. No, no, he's got away with it. Wow, that was close. I think he's uh, left his hazard lights on. Milk's off. Oh dear. He's had enough of that. I think I'm going to go left here. And cut across. And hopefully we can bypass the roadworks and if that previous road was uh, one that wasn't perfect for the sale this is one that is it loves these though. yeah so here's where the uh, road closes just here by Dunlaston Hall so it's only if less than a mile down to the cafe but it can cause chaos never mind hmm, 28th of February it reopens great yeah we had a nice chat at the cafe uh, Norman's got his new car he's bought himself a Mercedes 18 reg 2 litre petrol Mercedes with all the gizmos the reason he had to have one uh, visiting his wife in the hospital she's been a bit poorly lately and he had his car stolen from the car park of the hospital along with three or four other vehicles apparently so real horrible thing for, t for him uh, to put up with there but he's sorted now and he's got himself a new car so 
that's good oh this road is absolutely lovely today dry as a bone and I think it's going to be turning colder over the next week or so so I don't know making the most of it while you can cruising along here what are we doing 67 miles an hour at the moment and uh, the little seal just just loves it it's just the extra power for those overtaking maneuvers that you haven't got obviously with a, a bike of this sort of power now it's interesting that Malcolm who is uh, he's currently got three bikes he was the one that I was in front of a little while back behind sorry following a uh, while back he's thinking of getting uh, this is this uh, Honda's bigger brother the well bigger brother same engine but the CB 500 X the adventure version he's decided he needs to slow down and a 500 may well be fine for him I have said to him ride it first because uh, he's got three bikes 750 Kawasaki Z750 which I've tested on the channel before ZZR 600 uh, which was on uh, today and he's also got a Triumph uh, Sprint RS so bikes are all considerably more powerful than this and I think it's important that you uh, you ride any new bike before you buy it that is to me that's absolutely critical uh, even more so if it's uh, a size of bike that you're not used to in terms of power because you might just find that it's not enough for you but he's going to do that he's going to get himself a test ride on a on a 500 before he uh, before he buys one so we'll see how that goes be interesting though if he does get one of those i think he's going to consolidate his bikes and just have one or at the very most two rather than three whereas i'm going the opposite way and still looking for another bike uh, to get up to two because i've only got the cl at the moment but you've got to make the most of it while you can haven't you you don't know how long you're going to be riding for especially as you get older i hope i've got another 20 years on a bike but who knows who knows but if i was going to have another one as i've uh, pointed out in previous videos it would definitely be one that's uh, more powerful than the cl rather than a smaller one but don't get me wrong it doesn't mean that I'm uh, in any way bored uh, with a little Honda I still enjoy it and I still really look forward to getting on it and going out for a ride I, I really do and, and it's got so many advantages the lightness and the agility as I've said many times before but there are compromises and I do quite fancy having something more powerful again as, a, as an option, as a choice and I think two bikes isn't having two bikes isn't too ostentatious is it? no, of course it's not and I've worked hard for a lot of years and I deserve it <laughs> some people that know me would argue with that but <laughs> there you go as you can probably see I've done away with my little phone holder thing here that I used to use I did actually used to put my phone in it mostly it was just for um, I used to put notes in uh, just to remind me of what I was going to talk about because I, I do get a bit forgetful so just little bullet points of what I was going to have a chat about uh, but I've clean, given the bike a thorough clean over the weekend and decided to remove it so I can get at everything and I thought I'd leave it off for a bit for a change so yeah it looks like we're going to have to take different routes into the cafe for the uh, foreseeable future 
I think what it is they're repairing the uh, part of the road if you've seen on the previous videos drops down into a dip and there's a lake by the side and the uh, the road itself is very unstable constantly breaking down and uh, hopefully they're doing some more permanent repairs to it, it it's been uh, it needs some proper attention and hopefully that's what they're going to do but I suspect it will just be a patch it over and make do job it usually is Right, well, that's all from me. I've got to go to uh, work later on today. Earn some pennies. Ridiculous I'm still working at my age. I mean, my dad was retired for two years at this age, at my age now. He'd already been retired two years. And he had 30 years of retirement, bless him. <laughs> so he certainly made the most of his state pension. Got a feeling I'm not going to quite get that, that many out of it. Who knows? It's very morbid, isn't it? I must stop being morbid. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for living to a hundred. I think that's my aim. Any less than that, I'll be, I'll be disappointed. But I won't be because I won't know anything about it. But there you go. <laughs> uh, so there you go. A beautiful day, winter day in Worcestershire. Absolutely glorious. I don't know what the temperature is. It feels about about 15 degrees. It's like a, a chilly summer's day, if you know what I mean. And we're in February. It's uh, it's amazing. Maybe this global warming thing is real. Right. We shall turn up here. Into the, yeah, this really could be a summer's day. Look at that with the uh, sun breaking through the trees. Incredible. I'm not complaining. It's fantastic. Right, well, that really is all from me. Thanks for being with me. Hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for joining me on this little jaunt out. And I will see you next time. Take care. See you again soon. Bye for now.